hello friends so in today's session i'm going to explain you like how we will take the uh, like clone of a vm in a vcenter level okay so you can see this is my vcenter login and uh, vcenter version is i can show you here you can see that uh, esxi 6.7.0 so it means basically it's a version is 6.7 okay so in this uh, version like how we will uh, do the cloning i am going to show you like in upgraded version uh, you know it's very simple what you have to do in you have to select a vm and once you select the vm suppose uh, like uh, you if you have uh, any vm you can search in a search box you can search that vm once you search that vm and then you can right mouse click on that vm which vm you want to clone okay and uh, you will get that clone option here okay and uh, then you can do but this is uh, like uh, like uh, not uh, updated version so here like a uh, little bit difference so what you have to do basically you have to first right mouse click here and go check the edit setting and then you can go to the hard disk and here you can you have to see which this vm is coming from the which data store okay so you can see it's showing data store one see in my case i have only one data store okay so it's very easy because it is test lab but if, if you working any organization there are multiple data store right so that's why you have to first you have to identify this vm belongs to which data store so this vm is it uh, belongs to i i can see this a data store one belongs to this data store and that folder name is like a directory name is that uh, like this vm is which inside the which directory that is a terraform you can see here and this is the vm dkx file okay just you have to remind the, uh, remember this thing okay then you can cancel here and now you can go to the data store so in in my case i have only one data store that is the data store one in the suppose if you have multiple data store then you can select particular data store where your vm is, is a belongs okay <coughs> once you click on the data store then you can click here the uh, data store browser okay here what you have to do first of all you have to create one directory C click on the create on directory and you can give here name so i am giving this test okay for example now you can can create so you can see it's a created but if you see here inside nothing is there I, when i double click here nothing is showing here okay so now i have to go in um, uh, that folder where is my uh, vm is vm is stored so my vm is stored inside this terraform i have to click here okay let me expand here a little bit okay so inside you can see there are multiple files are there here it's showing right so here basically you have to copy the two files one is that vmdk and one is a vmx so let me first copy vmdk you have to click here and then you have to click on the copy and then once you click on the copy then you have to select the folder where you want to copy so in my i want to copy inside the test then you can start the copy now the copy is started or not how you will understand you can just close this vm uh, pop off and then you can go to the recent task and here you can see copy virtual disk is a starting it's showing two percent remaining so we have to wait uh, for a few minutes here we can wait let me pause the video because it will take some time okay so now you can see it's a completed it's showing the completed successfully okay now again i have to click here in a data store browser so one thing i forgot to tell you like when you doing this activity make sure yeah like uh, you know like uh, like uh, make sure like uh, your vm is a uh, power off okay then you can do this ex exercise okay now again i have to go inside the terraform and this time i have to copy the vmx file terraform vmx file this one click on this copy and select your v, uh, folder where you want to copy and then again click on the copy close this window now again if you go here you can see it's a copy that this second file is also copy now again okay you can see it's done successfully all the files now again let me click on the data store browser here now you this time you can click on the test okay before let me show you here in a virtual machine you can see 
small VM, only one VM is showing as of now. Okay, now let me go to the here data store again. Click on the test, and this time, what you have to do select this one and right mouse click, select VMX file, and then right mouse click, and then register VM. Click on the register VM. Okay, now again you close this one. So now register VM, you can see register VM. This one is successfully completed. Now what you have to do, go to more VM. So now you can see this two like uh, VMs are showing here now. Okay, now like how we will understand which VM is that we just now we uh, clone, right? So how we will identify? So what we have to do, again right mouse click here and then go to the edit settings and here in a go to again that uh, hard disk option and here, here you can see which folder this so it's a test so this this one we clone here that just now we clone this one now uh, let me change the name here okay i will give the name test here so i will give my test vm okay now save it now let me click on here it will take some time to refresh okay now you can see my test VM is showing here okay now let me power on this VM so when you clicking on the first time in the power on you have to select this I copied it this option and then I click answer it click on the answer now let me wait open the control you can see it's a booting now let me open yeah you can see it's a booting now so this is a way like you can do the cloning uh, like uh, for the uh, virtual machine in 6.7 but in upgraded version again i'm telling you it's very simple there is one option when you clicking right mouse click the option you will get click on the clone and then you can do that one okay so I hope uh, you like this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel, comment, share. Thank you.